Research is suggesting the rotation of Earth's inner core may have paused mm -hmm. and it could even go into reverse. Mm -hmm. This sounds really bad to it me. Is. Let's just get go. to Davo and get to it. Let's just get on Mars and be done with this, right? No, 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 no. Okay. So at this point, folks, this is not something cataclysmic. This is not a big deal, but I want to get into it. Let's talk about the inner core first. Okay. We live humans. We live in the crust. We're in the crust. Then there's the mantle. Then there's the outer core. Then there's the inner core. So okay. way, way, way deep down inside, we're talking, Russell, about 3,200 miles below the surface. Okay. This is the deep inner core. It is made up mostly of iron and nickel. Okay, so it's a very dense, hard core. You got a question? No. Okay. No, I'm sorry. So with that, it's got a radius of 2,200 miles. So I want you to think of the Earth's inner core, maybe the size of Pluto. Okay, so it's very, it's still, it's small, but it's very dense and very compact. How did they measure this? That was the first question somebody asked me. How do they know? Well, what they do is they measure earthquakes. What earthquakes do is they send reverberations and they send seismic waves straight through the Earth. So they're able to travel and follow those earthquakes into the inner core, and they realize that the inner core of the Earth spins differently than what we're kind of standing on. So then they started to say, okay, and they started to, they started to narrow down how does it spin differently, and they're noticing that over the past 20 or 30 years, that inner core, that little iron nickel ball is yeah. just slowing down. And they're saying what they think this is, is something that just happens every 70 years. Every seven decades, the inner core slows down and then it reverses. And then 70 years, it slows down again and it reverses back. The only thing they don't know at this point is what if any minute impact it's having on say the length of our day or the magnets you know the the magnetism right. of our earth right. so i want you to think about it this way x-rays were invented in 1895 what do you think that first x-ray looked like russell it was probably pretty weak looking right sure. you you might say okay we can see inside but we don't know what we're really seeing it's the same thing for nasa right now they can see inside the earth they can see that this core is slowing down but it's very fuzzy to them so they don't have a good picture of it so they're going to continue to have to work on it because they're wondering if it does reverse is that going to change the poles is that going to change the you know the spin of the earth right now they're saying no they're thinking this is just something the earth has done and they're just now discovering it. So don't worry about anything crazy happening if this thing slows down or not. It may well, have what, some impact, uh, very minute, but they just can't figure it out yet. So what you're it. saying though, is what if, if this is all true, what you're saying, I and mean, this theory is correct, it's happened before, it's happened a lot, and we're all still here. That's the point. If, if this thing, if this indeed happens every seven decades, and the earth hasn't completely blown up yet, I don't think it's gonna happen. The only thing I, I would ask you, and we, we won't know that answer, is we, 70 years ago we didn't have the technology we have now, and if the technology would be affected by it. That's why all the earthquakes that we have moving forward, Russell, are going to really play into this because they can follow them through the earth and then get more definitive or just more data in general on okay. what's happening with that big iron ball inside. But nothing to be concerned about, everybody. Just something kind of cool that we can yeah, actually detect now. All right. Thank you. Yeah.